Once we get out on the track, we get to see a lot about the candidate at that point. We're definitely looking at, you know, the manual dexterity of being able to maneuver the monster jam truck. It's demanding. They have to listen to details and take direction. You gotta have the mental toughness to get through that. And so we do see, can they handle that? You have no idea how many sleepless nights I've had thinking about being back here and doing better. So I kind of have that inside of me and I really just, just want to bring it home this time. So you remember all the controls, everything? Yes. Truthfully, the biggest worry right now is just the first time Tom tells me, all right, go. With only one day to show what I'm made of, feeling a little bit anxious, if I'm being honest. Be good to go, my friend. Awesome, thank you. It's cozy in here. Mom, um, we're here. So he's going to get these tires into position. We're going to put some water down. OK, we're going to start with Fernando. Keep going. All right, we're going to go into some figure eights, all right? Figure eights. Try to get used to palming the wheel and, and grabbing the rear steer, because there's a lot going on. I mean, you're tossing your hands all over the place. If you can just make a smooth motion all the way around, that's a good figure eight. I was feeling good. I was getting a feel for it. I kind of went back to my simulator and just went on instinct, really. He's been here before. Did you know that? That's what I heard, yeah. Whoa. I'm trying hard, but not necessarily learning anything from it. The figure eight, I'm beating myself up over. It did not feel good. All right, that's good. Take it in. Take it on in. And it's not going to be perfect, and I don't expect to be, but I did expect to be a little bit better than that. Hey, Avery, you ever driven a Monster Jam truck before? Never. Today's the day. Being in a Monster Jam truck, having that horsepower beneath my foot is absolutely wild, unlike anything I've ever felt before. All right, put the figure eights in there now. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa, hang on. something against tires, whoa. But I am frustrated with my ability to turn. Turn, 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 turn. Sure hands are all off the wheel. She's just throwing wheel at it. She's out of power, I bet. She's wore out. She'll get it. That's right, she'll get it. We'll go with Kyle next. You good, Kyle? You all good? All right, Kyle. Now start doing figure eight. All right, go ahead. There you go, turn. Woohoo! Good, good. OK, bring her in. Bring her in, buddy. How'd it feel? Oh, my god, This feels amazing out there. Joseph Dennis. Figure eight this time. Figure eight. My mom was definitely with me. Glance over and I see her face smiling right there. It kind of gets you emotional, but you got to focus. And that's probably another reason why I kind of had it heavy foot because I'm doing this for mom. Wow. You realize you got the left front tire about a foot off the ground. Did you feel that? There I did. He was definitely carrying a good amount of speed for someone that has zero experience whatsoever behind the wheel. Nice. We're off to a great start. Let's switch the order up a little bit now. 
We're gonna do some sturdy line activities. You're gonna line up here, we're gonna take off. You run all the way through that cone, got me? Bam! The one-two shift, the throttle. We're gonna get two or three good ones in. Okay. So the one-two shift, simply, that is just trying to see if you can mash that gas. Shift from first to second. I'm trying to kind of get that motion down. Sounds easy, but there's a lot going on inside those trucks. See your footwork here. A little late on the second gear shift. A good one-two shift generally is the timing. Timing is the biggest thing. Let's do it. Kyle's first, right? I'm pretty excited about the one-two shift. It's a pretty familiar feeling with the sequential shifter, the racing in shifter cars before. OK, Kyle, come on out here. OK, listen. You took off, you almost instantly shifted to second. Too soon. We'll work on that. Copy that. I'll work on those. All right, Joseph did it. Look at that light. Yeah. Perfect. That was a rush. I don't have a background of professional driving, but because I'm a stunt performer, I'm able to pick up skills pretty quickly. And so shifting from first to second, it's all rhythm and timing. I can relate to that. Fernando. All right, you got some experience. We're going through this right now. You ready? Let's do it. Hit it. That's perfect. All right, Avery, come on. We're going to rip one. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Good, good, good. Bring it around. Going into the one-two shift, that's exactly what I do in the mud pit when I'm back at home. Although I'm in a mud pit, so it is so much slower and a lot less horsepower. So getting to do it on dry land with that much horsepower underneath my foot, I felt like I was going to take off. All right. This time, we're going airborne. Do exactly as you did there. Stay on that throttle all the way through that ramp. Now, we got to add a jump into it. I mean, that's what Monster Jam's all about, jumping 30, 40, 50 feet in the air. A good jump is when you throttle through. You keep that gas pedal to the floor. You hear the RPM skyrocket. And you keep that truck leveled out as it jumps. We're looking for a nice, good, clean takeoff of the ramp. Hello. I'm super curious about the kind of G-Force I'll experience. The jumps are really intimidating at first glance. But if I want to make it as a Monster Dam truck driver, I got to be able to take it. Here we go. All right, come around. Not too bad, not too bad. You're off a little early, but other than that, pretty good. It was, uh, <laughs> it was a pretty hard hit on the landing, but yeah, that was, that was crazy. The jump's a lot harder than it looks. Feels like my soul kind of escapes my body a bit. So I had to relocate myself. I was a little surprised that he said the impact was pretty great on the landing. This is like one of the smallest jumps we do in Monster Jam. I mean, it's something you got to get used to. Joseph, throttle all the way through that ramp, all the way through. That's right, do it for mom. Good. Joe was honestly one of the most impressive I saw, having no motorsports background whatsoever. Yeah, let's go here. Nose over a little bit, but he continued to learn and progress as we went. All right, we're going to take him. Hey, Avery, let's go over to the ramp. Let's just go. Oh, yeah. I definitely felt like I was going over. I knew it as soon as my front wheel went off. So even though it wasn't a perfect jump, it was a learning experience. Fernando, pull up on that ramp. This is it, buddy. Are you lucky or are you good? I'll let you find that out yourself. This is my last chance. So honestly, I'm ready to kill it. All right, fire up. <laughs> yeah. When he 
went over to jump, it was just perfect. He knew it, like he'd been jumping in the living room for the last six years. Great job. I feel really good. I was beating on myself really hard after the figure eight, so I really went out there and I, I bet on myself completely. Take it back to your pit area. Fernando, he's been here before. You can tell he felt like he missed a golden opportunity before. He's fighting hard to get in, and I don't blame him. I understand it, you know? Because it certainly, you can tell it's his passion. And honestly, I saw some of him and uh, me and him. That's what he wanted to do, you know? And he, he really wants that opportunity.